out again. I'm just sitting here with my hammers. What a great way to spend a Monday afternoon. Man and his hammers. Beautiful, huh? <laughs> this one here is my father's bell nose uh, Australian made cyclone. And so is that one. Another one of Dad's bell nose cyclones. Uh, where are you? This one here is from my son Jim from his uh, toolkit when he was about five and when you know outgrew that and got past the thing and stuff um, I kept that in my toolbox every job I ever went to that was in my toolbox these ones um, uh, uh, Australian waddle, black waddle from my backyard. Another one, beautiful, huh? wonderful. These are this big ball paint. Uh, that's another black waddle from the backyard. Another one, beautiful. Look at it. That makes your man proud, doesn't it? Now yeah, we're just going to shift down here because this is, which you probably may have seen. These are extra special. These ones. This here one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all Australian mountain tea tree handles, and that's my personal set of working hammers that I used all my life. Magnificent. These these things are these are it's a work of art. What this man did. There's actually three there, one, two, three of Dad's um, bell nose cyclones, 1950s, Australian made. I can't remember what this pattern is called, but it's pretty groovy. Cobblers hammers, although mine is a, mine is a cobblers pattern. But I've only ever used it um, as a flanging hammer. That's another flanging hammer of mine. And all the ball peens and all that stuff. So, that's a little uh, solid rivet one. For soft rivets like copper and aluminium stuff. I've actually got a brass. A bronze um, head on this. I don't know what it was ever for, but it's groovy looking. Look at those girls, they were groovy looking. So, anyway, there you go. A man and his hammers. See ya.